Hey there, so this is um, some instructions to create a GWU blog at George Washington University. Uh, it's one of my courses as part of my cybersecurity doctoral program. I looked into various topics and for uh, homework I, I created uh, a blog to post various uh, stuff out on. Um, so the first things first is, is you go to blogs.gwu.edu and there's two types of sites you would create um, or you can create an official and unofficial uh, official I believe this is like um, this this requires you to be actually maybe part of a department or some sort of GW initiative uh, unofficial these are just for students to be able to create kind of personal blogs um, so what you do is you click on this get started button here uh, then scroll down to the unofficial section you actually have to um, uh, use your SSO. Uh, it'll create a blogs.gwu.edu slash and then whatever your user ID is. So for me, it created a um, uh, blogs.gwu.edu slash john dash kuk um, website. And then um, here, what you do is you kind of hit this button here to create your site. Now, I've already gone through the steps of creating a site. So for me, it kind of gives you um, this this sign-in page and then you just use your GW user ID um, to, to log into the system okay so this is the um, kind of the editing page for the WordPress site um, first things first I, this is loaded with a bunch of things that I've already created um, normally what you have when you first start is you go to posts, all posts, there will be two things that usually are created by default. Uh, the first one is kind of a, uh, welcome or a home, uh, what is it? A, a hello world page or a hello world post. Um, instead what happened was that I went ahead and modified this instead of hello world, I put my name and then kind of give some description about, uh, who I am and what I'm trying to do here. Um, and then up here you can publish the page or here instead you would hit this update button and when you go to your main page um, so if I go to like my blog page the first page that usually will show up uh, for your home page is going to be the most recent post but uh, if you're if, if you're I guess have that default home page that's this is what you will end up having show up initially uh, if you don't have any of the other, uh, if you don't have any other posts that you put out there. Um, the other, I guess, quick thing to do is the second page that usually gets created is an actual page. And these are actually shown up here at the, the, at the top here. Um, so these are various pages that I created for, for all of my various homework assignments. Um, and then what I ended up doing is uh, going to you'll get one page by default uh, you can go to pages all pages that first page you can edit the page and usually what's at the top of the page is it, it, it generates a link that um, relates to that page if it does not you can go over here and you can do like this quick edit and then change the the URL slug so this is the um, uh, like right here after john.kuk, you'll actually see um, whatever that slug is, and that's the, the path for that page, that specific page. Um, you can also order all of these in the list here. You see how I have them ordered um, sequentially. You can change the order. Uh, so for homework one, that's uh, zero. Homework two, I, ha I, I changed the order to one and then uh, just kept continuing down that kind of pattern. Um, pages themselves, oh, let me see here. Maybe what I can do is I can create a quick um, sample post here. So I'll create a post um, and let me just create a new one. So this is normally what you will get when you have a brand new post or a page. Uh, you give it some sort of a title, so a test title, and then you would continually just add uh, blocks of text. Now normally what I do is I have maybe a Word doc and then in that Word doc 
I have various snippets or the text that I want to add into that blog. Um, you can use any kind of doc. And what I would normally do is just take the text and then kind of paste it um, at the various blocks. Uh, the way this works is that you keep adding blocks of text and then you just keep adding text uh, below it, right? So you kind of see this type slash issue is a type of block. You can change the type of block as well. So for example, I can add, uh, let me remove this and then remove this. You can add a, an image here if you wanted to. Uh, so I'm going to copy this image that I have and then just paste it there. Uh, you can add a caption to it. You can continue the next block. And then, uh, for example, I have a heading that I want. I will add that heading. And then I will add this um, heading or, or select this transform to a heading and it will kind of increase the font size and then add blocks of text. So I will just copy portions of my text, just place it into, uh, paste it into place. Now, if I want to kind of put a, a, some text between here, I can add a block right here and just add like paragraph, uh, a paragraph block, and then I can go ahead and add some text. Um, and then at the bottom here, if I want to add uh, some, some more text, you can hit the enter key, or you can similarly just kind of hit, hit this, and this, this button if you see it, and then add a paragraph. So this is a quick way to create a page and then you can go off and publish this page. Um, and then once you publish that page, um, you can go to the, your, your, your blog website and pr see it pretty instantly. Um, the other thing that you can do is you go back up to this um, WordPress logo here. It goes back to your, your editing page. Um, you can go to your appearance and you can go to your themes you can change your various themes. Uh, so they kind of give you these official uh, five different themes you can choose from. So you can kind of customize your look and feel. Um, other than that, that's kind of the, uh, the quick way to uh, start up and create a blog. Uh, it's not really that difficult. It takes a few minutes. Um, hopefully this helps. Thanks, peace out.